All right, in this video, we're going to be palpating the anterior scalene. So we're going to be palpating the right anterior scalene. So we're going to go through some counting of the origins. The anterior scalene originates on the transverse process of the cervical vertebrae three through six, and specifically on the anterior tubercles of those vertebrae. So as we're going to go for a count, I'm going to show you landmarking cervical vertebrae three and counting our way down. The method that I like to use is starting off by finding the mastoid process of the temporal bone and then secondarily the angle of the mandible. So if I landmark both of those two landmarks, the TVP of C1 is approximately midway. Now, I need to bring his head back to neutral, so this is a step you want to make sure so you don't have them rotated away when you do this. It's going to change the position of your cervical spine. I want to be in between and I also want to try to get in this case, anterior to the sternocleidomastoid. Since SCM is going into the mastoid process, and this landmark is anterior to that, I want to make sure that I can almost push back on SCM whenever you're looking for it. Sink in gently. This area is often very sensitive for an individual, so I found the TVP of C1. Now, it's approximately a finger pad width down. The TVP of C2 is actually mid-belly to sternocleidomastoid. So we want to move the SCM up out of the way now and sink in a little bit until we find the bony object of the TVP. Again, I'm going to walk down. So here's our first one, transverse process of cervical. Three, four, five, and six. So TVP, cervical, three through six. When it comes to the anterior tubercle part of the TVP, if you pushed into the transverse process here, we're just going to roll our fingers towards the front of the neck or anteriorly, and that would show us getting closer towards those anterior tubercles. Exiting out in between the anterior and middle scalene for food for thought kind of is the brachial plexus. So when we push into the side of the neck, we want to roll towards the front of this muscle belly to make sure we're not on the nerves itself. One of the actions that the anterior scalene does, and actually all three of the scalenes do as a group, is lateral flexion. So what I like to use is the side of my finger and run it down along the edge here and get my partner just to push into the side of my hand with their head. Good, and relax. So I can feel that contraction of SCM. The other thing to note is that I'm lifting up the lateral edge of his SCM to find the anterior scalene. So if I asked him to lift his head gently up with my hand, you will see sternocleidomastoid push my finger over, and when he relaxes, I drop back down on top of the anterior scalene. So this is the belly of anterior scalene, and we're going to follow it down. The actions of this anterior scalene, one is lateral flexion, the second is going to be flexion of the neck, and due to its origin to insertion, it also does a slight contralateral rotation. But we're going to focus mainly on that lateral flexion. To get towards its insertion, which is what is known as the scalene tubercle of rib 1, I'm going to soften up his neck by laterally flexing towards the side I'm palpating on, and sink in behind the clavicle and underneath the clavicular head of sternocleidomastoid. As I sink down towards this location, again we're very very close to the neurovascular bundle of the thoracic outlet, so you want to be cautious not to be causing any numbness and not feel pulse in this area. To confirm that I'm on the scalene tubercle, I'm going to ask my partner to take a nice deep breath in, and as he breathes in, that rib one is going to elevate, so I can feel the bony rib pushing up into my finger when I'm on it. So another one of the actions of the anterior scalene is to elevate rib number one. So we've palpated starting from the origin, down along the belly, and then sinking in towards that insertion on rib number one. That's going to conclude our palpation of the anterior scalene.